Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Wingman. Today we are doing Mission 13, Valkyrie's Call. So, <laughs> it's been a while since we've played, and that is because I had been having a lot of issues with the computer um, after the whole uh, trying to put a new solid-state drive in the thing led to a million other issues over the past couple months now, I think, is how long it's been. So, um, I already did this mission, realized that the processor wasn't letting the recording, my wasn't letting OBS record at the same frame rate that I was playing at, so, um, it was very laggy, so now we are coming back to redo it. Um, so we are just here in the mission, uh, free mission menu, do, um, playing through this again. So let's get into it and listen to the briefing, and then we'll see whatever senseless rant I decide to go on. The offensive operations to take back territory from the Federation has been going well with your continued support, Sicario. Your air support up and down the front has been integral in demoralizing and outright destroying enemy air superiority. All this, however, has forced the Federation to respond in overwhelming force. Our intelligence has obtained a crucial piece of information on the deployment of the Federation's main airship fleet, Task Force One. Task Force One's deployment to Cascadia would be overwhelming and costly to the Independence Force. A direct confrontation would be nothing less than a disaster. Thankfully for us, they're not yet in the country and are on the last leg of their journey. In the Pacific, the Kingdom of Sawaki is an associate nation of the Federation, much like how Cascadia was before the war. Their islands are rich in natural resources and therefore an economic hub in the middle of the Pacific. Because of this, the main Federation harbor for airships on this side of the globe rests there. The plan is this. Sicariel will lead an air assault of mercenaries in, taking out the airship fleet while they're in port. We're devoting every single aerial tanker we have in order for you to reach out there. Hitman team, you'll be on point with Sicario. The port in the surrounding area is entirely a militarized industrial sector, all meant for maintaining the airship fleet, and on a lesser note, the naval forces of the Federation. This is a target-rich environment, and we expect nothing less than total dismantling of the Federation's infrastructure and force deployment capability in the entire Pacific. We're unsure on how the Kingdom of Sawiki will respond, but be on the lookout for their local air force. Some nations in alliance with the Federation might not see it our way. All right. So, objective is to blow up all the Federation shit. I think we can make that happen. And I think this is also one of the few missions that I'm willing to play on Mercenary Difficulty as the SK-25U. <laughs> so... <laughs> We will be taking out this flying brick, for lack of a better description. Um, because Imlago Vru, I, you know what, I'm not that clever. <laughs> oh, but anyway. Get the work. <laughs> Alright. So, yes, the. Actually, hold on one second. You know what? I will fiddle with it off camera. Um, because <laughs> I am. So, originally, I was running an i5 for the new processor in the computer, and now I'm running a seven um after realizing that the i5 isn't as powerful as they claimed <laughs> they had originally told me that it wasn't going to be a 
um, that it was only going to be an improvement, and that turned out to be wrong. So, but we did manage to do Mech Warrior with it. I did a test to make sure Project Wingman was working, and so we should be fine. I mean, if this is actually uploaded to YouTube, then yes, we are definitely fine. And I am being shot at by rail guns. But anyway, so other than that, everything has been going smoothly, thankfully. Um, there has been, um, there has been things moving forward with, um, other projects that we've been working on. I know, so the documentary that we have been working at for a little bit now, we are finally in a spot where we can, um, get up, um, where we can actually go and start getting footage for that and, uh, doing interviews and all that. Um, and on top of that, um, I know we have, um, brought up doing, uh, a public Discord server for, um, uh, for the channel. Now, I haven't, uh, we haven't had, sat down and had to talk about that yet because everyone's just been busy and the weekend was a bit more chaotic than what I was wanting, um, just between trying to, uh, get stuff done for YouTube and, um, um, just, you know, life stuff and all that. Um, but it is on the, it is an idea on the table, um, and hopefully I can talk to some of the guys about that because it's mostly fi trying to figure out, alright, who's able to moderate. <laughs> the server when it opens and what is our rule set and that kind of stuff so there's some things that we need to figure out before we actually do that but it is it is something we are talking about um, so and hopefully through that we sh could also potentially have just more overall interaction with you the audience and you know, uh, possibly actually host proper events. But for now, we are just going to stick with how things have been. And hopefully it all works out. Hey, Cruiser, hold that. <laughs> Cruiser, be gone. And I just realized that those missiles were shot at a battleship, and two is not going to be enough. I actually haven't had a good look at those things. Huh. There we go. <laughs> nice and on fire. So, yeah, now that, uh, now that the computer issues have been figured out, um, on top of, uh, on top of, uh, having, yeah, so on top, on top of having figured out all the computer issues, we are also starting our series on MechWarrior 5. So that should be something that uh, we did. We did a, it was a bit of a test video and also kind of teaching Mikey, uh, Will and I were teaching Mikey Battletech for most of the video. Um, and you know, we were, we were sitting around chatting for the most part when I was kind of just screwing around in Mech Warrior 5's uh, instant action mode. Um, but we do intend on playing through the career mode with a full, uh, what's, for those who don't know anything about Battletech, a full 
Lance, although Will is pretty apprehensive about using that term because just due to the type of mechs that we start with are pretty horrendous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that battleship didn't even have a chance. Hey man, run, you're taking damage. You still there, Warby? There's just nothing I can do. Move in the gossip with their pants down. Shook on your plate, I'll press. Have a child on fire here. <laughs> nah, I'm on that goose and just right for now. Hey, MN4 is a prestigious position. <laughs> Position. I'm not sure if I want Prez flying. <laughs> I'm gonna be entirely honest. Alright. Yeah, they are relying on the wrong group of people, clearly. Okay, come on. Get back around. That'll be Saturday's video. Um, Enemy on. Break. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be Saturday's video. And then I know War Thunder is going to be on a couple of different days this week um, compared to what we usually do. Um, simply because I know we're going to be up. We're going to be in Farley. Uh... Uh, doing uh, stuff for the documentary Saturday evening, so I had to. Uh, <laughs> I can't can't be on recording War Thunder, sadly. Um, but uh, I don't have D and D. We don't have a D and D night this Sunday, so I can actually uh, record War Thunder Sunday instead. So I think that was what I had put on the schedule, which I. Wrote said schedule last night and then just have completely forgotten what I actually broke down. Um, which is not not optimal, but uh, at least I have it written down somewhere. Um, what, what was I doing? Oh yeah, later today I am going to hopefully finally start that uh, uh, that uh, campaign on Ultimate Admiral as well. That's the plan, at least. Um. Because that has been something that I've talked about for a while, and using AI to uh, run a campaign on that. Oh! <laughs> I... That was almost very bad. End of the mission, and I would smack myself into a battle cruiser into the last objective let's let's avoid doing that oh there we Bloosh. Splashdown. Alright. Get some glory angles. Alright. Yeah, for some reason this mission has a very long pause before it goes into the loading screen. I have no idea as to why. Um, but... It loads eventually. There we go. News outlets throughout the world have stated the obvious. Task Force One has been crippled in port. Lone airships remain in the region, but none with the combat experience or firepower as the Federation's main pride. Defensive positions held by the Federation banking on their arrival have quickly folded. 
and the snowball effect has begun. The war is going our way, thanks to you. The Kingdom of Sawinki has kept quiet regarding this, but collateral damage to drone facilities were kept to a minimum. What damage they did sustain, they blamed the Federation for not maintaining a proper defense, despite what the Sawinki people have offered them. No matter the cost, however, this is a massive blow to the Federation that they can't possibly recover from. <laughs> yep. Worst airship loss in history. Alright. Anyway. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let's us know that we are doing good. And also helps us fight the infamous algorithm. Um, if you enjoy our content and want to see more, please subscribe. It um, lets you get notified the next time we upload. And on top of that, helps us reach our end of the year goal of uh, 1k and on top of that we've almost hit 100 subscribers and i have a bet going on with nacho so he if we hit 100 subscribers i get a free cheeseburger so hey if you guys want to help me out <laughs> there you go um but anyways guys if you all uh, hope you all enjoyed and i will see you guys next time